So in our first season, we acknowledged that there was an alternate universe. In our second season, we started to explore the alternate universe. And by the end of the season, we've left one of our main characters over there so that in the third season, we can tell stories in the alternate universe. The end of season two was a um, cliffhanger where you realize that the, the Olivia's are switched. Our Olivia is trapped in the other universe. I loved that, that scene with Walter pulling the shades down. I know you can hear me, please let me out of here. That sets up exactly where we start out because our girl is left on the other side and then we have an enemy in our midst over here. The person who you think is our Olivia is actually the alternate Olivia and she's now undercover. This season, we've been, um, so far, kind of flipping back and forth. Right now, we've just done the first four, and two are pretty much in one world, and two pretty much in another's light overlaps. This is not my home, because you come from another universe. Yes. What our design is, is to be able to say, well, the mythology is really compelling over there. Our heroine is, is trapped over there, and we're going to watch it. This is not my life. The concept of alternating worlds, I think, is so exciting. I don't know when that's been done. We're attempting something which I think is difficult, and that is to become familiar with and accustomed to people on the other side. They're kind of essentially doing what our team does over there. We will see the alternate Fringe Division solving Fringe cases on the other side. Once you get to know them, once you're on the other side, you get to see that they're not bad people and they're actually just trying to do their jobs as well. What we've learned from just from viewer reaction and from our own reaction and excitement to write this stuff on a daily basis is that it's really compelling over there. What is a world like where there is a John Lennon, you know, where, where Zeppelins float around in the sky? going to start to really feel how these two worlds collide, hopefully without them actually colliding, because that will be the end of the universe. I'm just hoping that the audience likes it, because it's a, it's a real blast to play. As the characters get richer and the plots get denser, it gets fun. One of the great themes of this show is the road not taken, and we now get to tell stories in a universe which is just like ours but slightly different because of different choices that were made and because of the consequences of those choices and we're really excited to be able to do that. We've got a breach. Is somebody playing my song? My hope would be that the alternate universe becomes a permanent fixture in, in our storytelling. The dilemma then becomes for us who's the good guys and who's the bad guys. The people that they've lived with for a couple of years on this side they still hopefully care about but they've come to know this other group of people who are doing the good work on the other side and they're not quite sure where their loyalties lie anymore. <laughs>